Anthony, do you like rap or hip-hop music? Truthfully, I'm much more of a country guy, but the rest of the Toronto Bureau team loves hip-hop and are constantly playing it. What about you? Do you have a favorite rap song? Mm, honestly, I'm not into rap, hip-hop, or country. So picky. Hip-hop can be an incredibly expressive way of storytelling. The rhymes and rhythms can be a really powerful way of opening up about your personal struggles or just learning to express yourself better. It certainly was a very helpful tool for Trevor Mills, a passionate volunteer and teacher in Vancouver who uses hip-hop as a way to express his inner struggles and give back to the community. Trevor is an amazing guy who wears many hats, and we're happy to share just some of his story. Vancouver's Grant Hardy has more. My brother very unexpectedly and tragically um, died. In the wake of his death, I wasn't sure how to handle the grief. For high school teacher Trevor Mills, hip-hop music became an outlet during a time of need. It resulted in an EP and campaign called Evidence of a Struggle, which paid tribute to his brother's battle with mental illness. One, two, one, two. Trevor was also inspired to start a hip-hop club at his school and to get teens talking about mental health. Hip-hop to me is a very uh, responsive culture where you respond to your environment, uh, how you're feeling, what you have. Right now, being in a school, what I have is there's youth around and there's so much creativity happening here. So ultimately, the only limit is, is their creativity and that's what I like about hip hop. The focus may be the music, but club member Frank Roberts says that the positive effects spread far beyond that. It is, uh, it's encouraged me to like develop different things in beatboxing, like uh, he's encouraged me too to practice on it more. This program here, they take time, they like talk to you, and yeah, they encourage you with your homework. It's really helped me with like getting, uh, like opening up to people. Like I used to be like the shyest person on earth before uh, I came here. But being here uh, has really brightened my life. For club member Theodore Opria, who recently moved to Canada, the club has helped him work through difficult emotions. I kind of got depressed just because I didn't have anyone. And uh, having Mr. Mills uh, encourage me and push me and make me come to hip hop club, I was a part of something. When I was in France, I didn't really express myself, I just kind of rapped. And now that I'm here and I actually have, you know, personal problems, I would express it on the paper and Mr. Mills would uh, tell me to express myself because that's how you, that's how you uh, feel better and that's how you let other people know how you feel. Trevor's work for mental health awareness helped reconnect him with his old camp counselor, Jared Cook, who is battling an aggressive form of MS that has left him with no mobility except for slight movement in his face. We all sing the 12 hyphen days. Trevor has been helping Jared of complete Christmas. a book, one that he's been writing for over nine years. We reconnected in, in September of 2015, and that's when I saw that uh, his communication is very limited. It's basically lip reading and a communication system using his eyebrows to select uh, letters from A to M and, and to Z. He's, he's an intellect, you know? Um, he has so much to share, and he has such a big heart, and I have to say, he's, he's probably the strongest person I've ever met in my life, and it's an absolute privilege to be in his circle and to assist him and be his friend. Trevor's work with Jared and the Hip Hop Club has been recognized by the city of Vancouver, which awarded Trevor a 2017 Accessible City Award. People who do this don't do it in hopes of being recognized. It's, it's always a, a positive, um, and you know, I'm very thankful and, and, and grateful for this, but I'm hoping to, to use it to, to draw more awareness to Jared and, and his book and the amazing youth that I work with. I know I've already said it, but Trevor really is such an incredible guy and a strong role model. With all the challenges in the world right now, I love hearing about guys like him who are giving back to their communities.
Definitely. And giving people a voice and making sure everybody gets heard, whether it be a group of youth who use music to express their struggles or somebody like Jared who has a lot to say but needs help on how to say it. That's what we're all about here at AMI. And in case you're wondering, the song off the top of the story was from Trevor's album. So good. Trevor has raised over $25,000 towards mental health, health initiatives in BC, and you can find out more about his work and music at evidenceofastruggle.ca.